Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy and welcome to part one of what is going to be Woody Woodpecker. Woody Woodpecker, yes. This uh, series will involve the uh, usage of the forest industry only. Yeah. So I've been inspired by Seniac uh, Woodville, in which he is also making only uh, forest industry as the main industry, or actually the only industry, and see whether it's possible to make a decent prophecy, prophecy, <laughs> profit out of it. And um, yeah, I've been watching that uh, series for uh, you know the last time, and I think like you know you could do a little bit better, Seniac, but. Um, yeah, so I thought like, why would I not try this, you know? So I downloaded this lovely map. As you can see, it is full of mountains. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice flat map and this is the overview of it. And we have like a big river here going in the middle. We have like a road going through here and a road going through here. Uh, some branches, uh, yeah, one branch river over here. And I see also a train line is going. From there to there. So this map is pretty, yeah, pretty uniform, but that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, the starting point was here, and I unhooked um, all the tiles with uh, the 81 tiles mod, so every tile is available. Now, the idea is to start over here because this was the initial starting point, and there's uh, the forest. A forest where I can start over here and I did add some more trees over here and here looks a little bit um, in a, yeah, artificial but that is not the key point here the key point here is like is it possible to um, um, get a decent profit out of the forest industry only now also and I will press the spacebar so it can play now yeah, move now yeah the cars over here uh, also what I find important is that it will be only forestry only. So also no, you know, scheming stuff with parks and that kind of things. No, not that kind of things. The, the profit will be solely coming from the forestry only. So, okay, um, where do we start? Now, um, this is a nice point actually to begin and I want to start to build this uh, first settlement uh, over here and over a bridge they can go into this you know densely packed forest which will uh, yeah will be the place where uh, yeah where the wood industry will uh, rise and we will see how far we will get so let's have a look around here so i already renamed this uh, <laughs> this uh, city to uh, woody woodpecker and um, yeah Let's just start, right? So we need like um, yeah a road that goes into this place, and um, yeah, where shall we start? Well, I think let me see. These are three lanes. Yeah, those are three lanes. Okay, now let's um, let's use the bulldozer, uh, bulldozer, and let's pause the game for a moment and say like like that, oh, like that, and we take a nice off ramp. Um, we can also take like a trumpet at change. Those are pretty much more nicer in general. Mm, these ones. Yeah, look at that. Let's turn it around and let me see how close is it to there. And yeah, I wanted to hook on here. Perfect, perfect. Oh, you know, I really love the fact that this map is like nice and straight. Uh, it's it's like, you know, always dealing with that hilly terrain is always so annoying. It's like, ugh. At least I have the feeling now I can build something, you know. Okay, I can press play again. Now, uh, oh yeah. Of course, I will play with this one mode off. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. So um, yeah, always a key thing that I apply is playing with despawn mode off because uh, I don't want my vehicles to disappear. I find that uh, troublesome, you know. I get uh, sleepless nights and I uh, <laughs> don't want that. And let's use some quick lane mathematics on this trumpet exchange. Yeah. Okay, let's do it this quickly. Just simple uh, here. Like, okay, you there and well and here yeah okay 
Now, let's see. <coughs> These two roads, we have two lanes, so I'm going to change this into a two lane, a two laner. You know, actually, you know, if I'm looking in my own country, then I know that most highways actually are uh, two lanes, well, four lanes, I mean, but with two lanes one way and two lanes the other way, not even three. So uh, this is actually more, uh, yeah, standard. Now let's let's see uh, how we are going to do this. Um, we come out from here, so I think I will put like a sort of main road here to there, uh, besides this river, and then around like that. You know, in a, in a nice um, rectangular way. Okay. Now let's use for that the well. Let's use also the uh, with the trees. This road. I mean, uh, it's more. It's pretty suitable for that. And let's see, how can we... Okay, this has to be also just as straight as this road. Okay, we can do that by taking a road like this, like this, and like this. Then we all have like 90 degrees angles. And from that we can just, you know, work on. Okay, from here to there, from here to there. Oh, cannot attach, cannot attach. Space ready occupied. Okay, what is the distance is here? Four units. Ah, okay. Now, to get this other road exactly in the middle, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, let's check this out. So, this distance is four units. Okay. To get in the middle of that, uh, that will be sort of tricky. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, four units. Let's add three here. Mm-hmm. That will even fit, okay. Let's also add three over here let's combine these okay now let's pull those away all this stuff okay the center area of this road should basically be the um, road where i can attach this and that will be yeah here this is the center area i mean the circle already proves it so 90 degrees and connected sort of up to let's say here and that will be exactly in line with that road hey isn't that perfect just doing a little bit of uh, yeah lane stuff, you know. Okay, let's uh, do a 12. Oh, I love this. 12. Let's dive under it this time, not go over it. Like that. So the distance to the train track is 4U, so we make it 8. So we create also some uniformity around here. Hey, that's nice. Bring it up. Like that. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's take this... Uh, Highway track, highway track, <laughs> not a train track, highway track, and uh, <laughs> what, have we, what do we have more, a train road? <laughs> uh, this highway piece, yes, okay, okay, and let's uh, put these connectors uh, to there, and you go there, and you go there, and also here, yeah, you go there, and you go there, yeah. Also use the junction restrictions, just go on. Yeah, and those are already set, uh, and no pedestrian crossings over here. Nice. Okay, let's go further. <coughs> now, let's see. This road. Yeah, we will take it around. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's also make a nice bend. A bend of like mm -mm, 10 by 10. Yeah. And let's bring this all the way up to here. How much does that cost? 10,000? Okay, that is doable. And look at that, you know? <laughs> it's like they have, uh, you know, thought about me, you know, with this extra overpass. Okay, let's go there. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. I want to make also a 10 by 10 bend around here. Um, that comes out here, sort of. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Mm hmm. Let's just try this. I need the anarchy tool for now. And then, like that. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's bulldoze this away. Nice. So, um, what is the distance from here to here? It's 23. Okay. Then we need like 13, extra 13, to create the bend of 10 by 10. 10 by 10. 
and hook that on as well there. Now look at that. Isn't that lovely? I like it. I really like it. Ooh, it, it, it encounters here a, okay, a little issue. So what we are going to do is now we make a bend of five by five and five by five. Yeah, great. Now let's continue further that way. I think 20 will do, yeah. And create another 10 by 10 bend. 10. Come on, 10 by 10. And this road we will pull all the way back well, that way to. Uh, how are we going to play this out? Um, yeah, I think I have an idea, sort of, I hope. Um, yeah, from here, we dive just uh, underneath this and go like minus 12. <coughs> Make it a 12 units. Like that. Connect it to there. Let's go down again. The distance from here to here is 6 units. Uh, so this is 12. Okay, so that makes 18 plus 12 is um, 24. No, uh, 18... Well, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait. This is 6. And then to this part is like a total of 12. Ah, oh, okay. So another 6 that we need 18. Okay, 18, 18, 18 units. Yep, 18. And then we take this up again to 0. Oh, I can also press the home button. So we will arrive at uh, yeah this area over here. Now, this area is not directly that important. The main area will be sort of here, and okay, let's uh, fix first the um, yeah the sewage and the uh, what is this water doing? Mm, wait a second, there are trees inside of the water. That's not the uh, that's not the idea. So, yeah, I know I added some trees uh, in the other region. <laughs> Maybe I was a little bit too uh, enthusiastic by placing those trees. And you know? I thought, thought, like, uh, yeah, I want to make a tree uh, for, for, you know, industry. I, I love the idea, you know. <laughs> but let's get uh, some people in. And, um, yeah, so we are going to use um, which kind of road? That's a good question. Let's turn this off for a moment. Yeah, I, you know, I really like this road. I cannot help it, but I like it. The only downside of this road is that it does not have native parking. But I can always, you know, add these parking lots and those really help. But uh, I have to start somewhere. So let's just begin here and take a... Mm, yeah, and maybe you have seen me doing it in Delta Disasters using those roundabouts uh, as... Uh, anti-left turning options and that really helped you know it's really uh, so from here I take this road and which goes from here to here 60 and then to there yeah yeah that's that's okay and that will do nicely and okay now let's see what is in the middle here uh, yeah basically here hmm mm-hmm Okay, 10 units, we take this up to there, no wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Now that's also a thing that you, uh, when you build a city, I press also pause, otherwise this will cost me money. Um, when you build a city, junctions like these, put them as far away from each other. Because if you have junctions close to each other, then you have one that, that wants to go left, and then the other one wants to go left, and especially with this one mode off, um, the chance of traffic uh, jams is pretty high. So keep the junctions far away from each other. Now think about the, um, the trains. The trains are a good example, because um, <coughs> with trains, if you keep... Um, you know, if you have trains, uh, like the, what is the train line here? If you make, 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 make T-junctions and you make them too short and trains will not even fit into that uh, segment, then they clog up. It's also, you know, a thing, uh, yeah, a thing to uh, keep in mind. 
Now let's create this space. Okay, this is 25, and is this also 25? Oh, it's also 25. Loving it. Um, and then from here, yeah, it's no problem, you know, if you have like a dead uh, dead end piece over there. I mean, that's okay. Um, from here, let's put this in the middle, like 8U, and then to there, a little piece to there. Yeah. Now I also determined, actually, you know, um, why my cities always look so, well, uncity-like. You know, I've uh, I have seen now that um, I make too much use of uh, high-density residential. Yeah, that's the whole whole problem I have. Uh, okay, um, so I am going to use less high-density uh, residentials and more low res. Uh, residential. Uh, okay, which way the water was flowing? Uh, that way? Okay, so we put like a water pump over here. Uh, let's see. So this is episode one. Uh, don't expect immediately a forest industry. Um, okay, that will take the water. Now I do use the uh, no water pipe mod. That mod is very uh, ideal because you place just one pipe to this thing and it's done. And if you don't need to pipe your whole map, that saves you a lot of nodes. And if you grow the city uh, a lot further into the future, you definitely need the nodes. Because your city has only limited amount of nodes. Okay, look, look at this. Counter and object limit. Net nodes, you see. You only have 32,000 nodes and nodes are just connection points those are like uh, you know those um, if you click the road and look those blue circles those are nodes these are these are the places where cars objects etc vehicles can change lanes for example but also they they are uh, the pipes are the same basically uh, you know this sucks in a lot of water i'm going to do a little bit of uh, uh, maintenance over here, so this will not uh, suck in the uh, sewage, but just a little water source over here to level that out, otherwise it looks a little bit odd. Oh, there, and then take it down. Let me have a look, uh, this has to, yeah, like that. Okay. Not bad. Um, now for the sewage, uh, I'm just going to dump it here into the um, in the river. Um, I can even put it all the way over here, but then it goes to there. Um, yeah, often I make a sewage on the edge of the of the map and let it flow into some hole in the ground. And to be frankly honest, I don't see it. no reason why I should not do it right now. It looks a little bit. Um, sort of um, 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 like um, cheating but actually it's not really cheating you you create a hole in the ground uh, that I mean it's pretty normal in in, no, in real life to create a hole in the ground I mean that's it a hole in the ground level the edge off like that sort of create a okay a nice water source in it okay it's a little bit unrealistic to expect that um, um, that you can just let your sewage drain into the ground, but hey, let's keep in mind, this is just a computer game, you know, it's just like that. The whole idea is, can we make a profit of an indus uh, forest industry? Great, so we need like a little bit of an edge over here for these, uh, uh, these sewage uh, pumps. So let's put them there. Sewage, where are you? Let's go back. Uh, this one, and also it will cost some money to have uh, have them placed. Put also a pipe attached to it, and they also require some energy. Um, well, the cheapest energy, of course, is just a plain windmill, wind turbine. The windmill you find in the Netherlands and uh, wind turbines you find, th those are these things. Windmills are from the past, you know, from the ancient past. Let's drag this down a little bit more. So it will basically suck in the sewage from there. Okay, let, uh, let that be. 
and holy smoke arenas this is not good okay let's increase this there is not even an house there and already it sucks in water <laughs> you wonder where it go where it goes anyway let's uh, start um, make some uh, residentials over here uh, let's use uh, this option and say like um, let's start here with a bunch of residentials let's start here with a bunch of uh, residentials and also on this road over here with low residential and let's not forget the um, parks and plazas and parking lots like this thing for example let's put the let's put one over there and let's put one over there and parking lots let's use these smaller ones you know these are you know just small areas so let's do a parking lot there let's do one over there let's do one over there and over there and one over there and one over there yeah now let's see how this uh, how this goes let's put up some speed great now the thing about what I said about using roundabouts as a uh, an option to uh, deny left turning traffic too much left turning traffic is is pretty simple so let's say these roads continue and also these roads continue you put roundabouts between a junction like this for example I can also make a roundabout here but it's just the idea that that counts so we press ctrl o for the roundabout builder we make a three lane road like that how big is this mm, can it be one smaller yeah that's one over there and we put like one over there okay now we do our usual stuff uh, you know with the roundabout we um, first of all we are creating designated lane turns with this option like tap tap and tap uh, we use junction restrictions to relieve some restrictions in this case uh, you know the uh, forbidden option of changing lanes but I allow it and also the speed of the roundabout I lower down to 50 so people can better get on it yeah okay we do the same with this one oh people are coming they are coming in they, they came in from here oh they drive all around it <laughs> I see well that's okay I mean no problem Okay, we have like already a lot of uh, theft going on. I mean, we have a small community over here and already the thieves are like uh, making a mess of it. So, okay, let's uh, use the this road and let's go. Um, yeah, just let's go there. And we take like a police station. Okay, let's turn this a little bit slower again. Uh, police station. We put that just over here. Nice building. Also fire station. Put it on the opposite side. They like it. Uh, also we will give them some medical stuff. Um, can we put that here as well? Or is that too close? Nah, it's too close to that. Uh, I don't want that. Um, yeah, let's put it, put it there. Yeah. Great, so let's take the uh, paths and let's connect some uh, areas to each other. For example, here. Uh, okay, so there is now a growing demand for commercial and industry. Now commercial is something, well, let me see. If the industry will be over here, and people will be living over here or maybe on the other side of the highway it would be nice that commercial would be sort of over here in this area so let's extend this um, road system a little bit let's see okay um, look at this like going to minus 12 the distance to the train track is 3 so we make it 6 like that and then we take it up again here 12 by 12 oh also works ah nice 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 Okay, we all go to uh, this way. Thank you. Take it down again. 12. 
Yeah. Okay, and then we create six. And um, how far did this went? Also 12? Yeah, I think that is uh, perfectly connecting. Here we go. Here we go. That's nice and lovely. Okay, now let's put some commercials in here, like a simple, simple commercial. Um, so we put some commercials here, and I leave some openings there for some uh, for parking, like that, like that, and also here and here. I leave an opening for an extra road. Uh, I think yeah, like this and like that. Great. Now let's go to the this option, and this is a parking lot. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see the openings where I did not zone. That's great. Hmm. Okay, how to how how to mark that area? <laughs> let me see. Let me. I, I want to move it to the corner like this. Okay, let's see if that works. You know, a little bit unorthodox, but that should be then here, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, a little bit unorthodox, but okay, it works. Um, and here we do the same. Let's put the open area to the corner. Take this option and then say like, you go there. Yeah, okay. So, um, oh yeah, about the roundabout and the no left policy. Now, if traffic is coming from this way, I, want, I don't want them to take a left turn here at this junction. I want them to go on to this roundabout, go around at 360 and then go to the right. Uh, in that situation you avoid left turning traffic. So we go to traffic manager, we click on lane arrows over here. I click on control, you see, it changes to a circle and then I tap this button. Now it changes into dedicated or designated lanes, uh, but that I don't want. What I want is actually this lane to go forward. So we change that into this and that. So what we are seeing now is like they, these guys from this end will only drive forward. Now fo let's follow this road. Let's see this car, what he will do. He will make a 360 on the roundabout. I swear, he will. He will make a 360 on the roundabout. He does not. <laughs> I thought he would. Okay, he is probably going to the commercial, probably buying an ice cream or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so stupid. <laughs> okay, let's fill in the rest of this area. Okay, more com uh, indus uh, commercial industries. No, snowy dumbass. And more residentials. More peeps. Peeps, peeps, and peeps. Peeps. Peep and a peep. Okay, they need something for the trash. Okay, okay, okay. We will just, um, you know, make some side roads. Let's go top first again. From here, 10 units. Yeah, that's okay. How far is this? 12, okay. 12 by, is this 12? Yeah, it's 12, oh yeah. Right, so we need something for the trash. So for that we have our eco incinerator, which is this one. We place it right here. Well, sort of in the middle. Yeah, that will do. We are in the greens, so that is nice. Um, we also need schools. Schools. So what we are doing now is actually the basics. Um, I want to have another kind of elementary school. I think I downloaded this one. Wonder Park. Uh, yeah, this is an elementary school with 500. Okay, 500. Whoa, that's a big building. Holy moly. But you know, actually, I do like it somehow. You know, where can we put this? Hmm, interesting. So, probably more people will live here. So, let's make, let's give it an own, own its own spot over here. Yeah. So let's take this road with the trees and let's put it right here. Mm, let's make it a 20. Yeah. And let's take that school again. Where is it? This one. And then just place it here. Like that. 
and then right next to it we will put like a small parking lot right and then here to make it more convenient for the peeps snowy you were planning a forest industry yeah i know that i know that it will come later <laughs> um, so here uh, i want to mm, can i go there five five and here we go down like that and then from here uh, can we go down oh Oh, wait a second, I have this thing on. That's that's why it's so annoying. Yeah. Now, look at that. Also, I want them to go to the other side of the road. Let, let's go down to there, to there. And also here, I turn on the snap, turn off the snapping tool. They're like, okay, you go to there too. Well, that looks hideous. Let's uh, delete that and let's see if we can fix that in another way. Okay, like that. Whoa. Turn off this option. Thank you. Let's move this more to the, to the side as if it were belonging to this part of the road, you know, that pavement. And let's see if we can now redo this on this side. Like that. Hey, look at that. I mean, that works out like a charm. Now we can also, well, people can walk just around and go that way, so it's not really needed to make, you know. Yeah. First of all, let's do some uh, lane mathematics on, um, no, not lane mathematics, um, some um, designated lane turns over here. So we say like control, here we go. Make this road a priority road, pick your lane and drive through the junction. And give them some giveaway signs. Here we go. Um, he does not have power. Oh, I don't have power. I have only those two uh, wind turbines. I see. Now let's use the um, this one. Oh, wait a second. No, oh, I have I have a great. Oh, I have a wonderful, wonderful. Wait, pause a pause a moment. This is a great spot for that. Oh yeah, I had this on my mind for a while. We are going to create. Um, you might uh, think like okay, but we are going to create a solar park, a real solar park. Yeah. Okay, let's draw this road from here, uh, like that. This is this is a very tiny road, by the way. It's a tiny road, but okay. And put it to there. Now we have these. Um, where are these things? Uh, let's check this out. These things. This is like a four by one solar covered park, and imagine what you can do with these things. How small these things are. Let's say one. Two. What do these things cost, by the way? Ooh, four per week. Okay, there, there. Okay, so it's four. There, 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 there. Mm. Yeah, it's a pity you have to attach them to a road, uh, but otherwise I would say, like, mm, you know, put the whole uh, area full of them. Now, let's see what we can do uh, from here to there, and then... Hmm... What's the, what is the distance from here to here? That's four units. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can go any closer. Um, also, if I place them here, they are not back to back. Ah, okay, that's also not the idea. So let's move these and like that. Yes, so we will put a few more like, uh, well, I want to place them here, but it does not allow me. Why not? Oh man, it, uh, okay, you go there, you go there, you go there, and you go there. Now I want to place it in between there, but it does not allow me to. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Also, if I try to just move them, let me have a look. This move to... It doesn't. Oh, that's absurd. I mean, look at these blocks. I, I I should be able to place them there. It's ridiculous. What I'm going to do is, let's see if this will work. Um, I will select the whole schmuck. Can I go upstairs? Downstairs, upstairs, I mean uh, above ground. 
I'm going to select this whole th whole whole stuff, all these four, like that. And I'm going to copy them right into here. Let's see. And then attach them to this road. That, sh that should be okay. Let's make sure it, they align perfect. Let's see if this works. I have no idea. Let's get out of this view. Um, well, they are not complaining. Let's play again. And it looks like a sort of, uh, yeah, um, solar park, basically. Maybe I can even copy paste this whole stuff. So how much uh, energy does this now give? 39 megawatts. Okay. Okay. Well, so um, I think that we have covered the basics right now. Uh, there is uh, still a lot of demand for more people over here. And um, yeah, I definitely need to create more space. Mm, yeah, where are we going to put that? Um, yeah, we, I think we need to go more to this side. Yeah. And then uh, the weird thing is we don't have actually industry uh, demand. That is kind of uh, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Now let's take this road. Um, like that. Now let's go from here. Yeah. Go down again to minus 12. Then take 12, home, and connect that up, yeah. Let's go down again. This distance is like 5 units, so we make it 10. Total, 12, home, click, done. Nice. 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 Right, uh, from here we will create a road. I don't know, we just... We also go a little bit free around. It's not like that. Um, this is going to be, you know, the the perf the perf perfect uh, area. So let's take this to. Although you know, let's make this in line with that road. Yeah, connect it to. Uh, well, actually, I don't. I I I keep those separated then people will be more inclined to uh, to walk. Look, we can also create a bridge over here between these uh, two roads later. Yeah, and from here, can we go up to there? 10 units? Yeah, we can. Um, yeah, like that. Now let's take the zoning tool. This one. Yep. Next to the school should be no issue, I think. Schools are not noisy, although, you know, sometimes uh, when I'm listening in some urban areas with schools and you hear all those uh, kiddos, uh, I think like, okay, I'm happy I'm not living here. <laughs> right, so, oh, uh, wait a second. We also need a little bit of parking. Never forget your parking. Uh, some parking there. And also some parking on the edge over... Oh, it's already building something there. Parking there. How about these guys? It's still complaining. A bunch of complainers. A universal parking lot over there and over there. The park away. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised, you know, that we still have like this uh, whole bunch of... Um, um, residential demand while, while we totally don't have any industry. So this is kind of interesting. And also I noticed that, um, no, I, I, I do not wish to use this space because of this train track over uh, train track over, over here, because I can put like a station there for export stuff. So yeah, let's just focus more on this area. So let's take it all the way to, are we going on the ground here or not? Well, why not? We, do, we just do the same as we did before, like 12 down. I know it was 5, so I make it a 10. 10. Press home. Here we go. Then to there. To there. To there. And this can go all the way to... There. Look at that. From here we can do the same. 
Ooh, I don't want to connect it up to there. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, 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 no. From here to there. It's a bit close to this um, junction. I don't like that. Put it away. We will just connect this to there. That's better. And this, um, ooh, wait a second. To there. That's much better. Uh, and this, yeah, this is, will be a dead end uh, area. And it will just go to there. Mm, yeah. I think that will do. For now. Uh, also, I want to create a roundabout here. For the... Um, yeah, that means that we have to connect uh, this one up to there. And let's remove this piece. And let's connect this up to there. It's just, now you see there's sort of symmetry over here. And actually, you know, it makes me wonder... Should I make this road cross to that area? Ah. Yeah, we might do that. Um, also, I'm going to put it into the air this time. Just like that. 10 units. And the distance from here to there is 3. And this is 7, so plus another 3 is 10. Yep, that will do nicely. And then bring it down, like that. Whoa, what is happening over here? Why it, why it slams in, in the ground like that? I don't know. Let me have a look. Uh, what is this distance? It's like 12 units. Yeah, 12. And from here to... I only press home. For some reason it creates a little ditch over there. I don't know why, but... Let's uh, up this a little bit. Whoa, not that far. Okay, okay, okay. And now let's see, we can attach more road. So why is this forming a bridge? This is a flat surface, you know? It's like, what? Okay, well, we do it like this. It's changing the surface uh, area. I don't, I don't like that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put, let's take this area. Press Control H to that. Here we go. Now it's flat as it should be. Mm, okay. Uh, more stuff. Get over here, you. And yeah, this sort of works out nicely. So um, let's. Put some more residential in here. Uh, let me see where to start. Um, even that is sometimes difficult to decide. You know what? Just put the whole thing stuffed like this and also here. Yeah, that will do nice. No, not at the junction. Not at the junction. And here, yeah, it's also okay. And here it will not fit. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to have a make a roundabout here. So let's make one. I think the size is still the same. Yeah, that's okay. Let's use it. Let's do our regular things. Dedicated lanes. Lifting some restrictions. So like pick your lane. And speed 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, that will do for now. And uh, also let's zone this area a little bit up. Oh, it's already zoned up, my bad. And uh, yeah, so I'm go I have to need to think now about the, uh, I pause now the game and I will save it for the next episode because in the next episode, uh, see, I don't, I should not overwrite my Delta disaster uh, map. Um, let's turn this off, Woody Woodpecker, save, yes. So in the next episode, I will focus on uh, building our first little, you know, uh, industrial uh, area here for the forest industry. And uh, also I will focus then at the same time at, uh, yeah, I think this is enough, at the same time of export areas. Um, as you can see, there is no um, shipping lane over here. At least let me have a look. Shipping lanes. Ships. Yeah, they are only there, not here in the river, sadly enough. 
So what we need to do is create a, basically a train line that goes from over here to maybe all the way over here. We can like put like a, a nice harbor, cargo harbor over there. Hey, what is this? Ah, okay. Totally not needed, but okay. Yeah, so this is episode one. And uh, yeah, I hope you, you guys, you like the idea of uh, creating like an... Um, forestry industry over here and let's only make money from that we will see how that will unfold so uh okay guys thank you for uh, for watching and uh yeah and i will see you in episode two see you guys bye bye